Hello YouTube, um, I'm just going to do a quick video. My idea is to take a 18 volt 1.4 amp hour battery which is uh, been repaired and uh, has gone bad again and we're going to take out all the cells and we're going to put in um, some of these cells from Stu which uh, we bought back up from zero to a usable voltage and we tested all of the capacitors and they're anywhere between um, 13, 1300 milliamps and 1500 milliamps for this test. We just throw them together into various packs and we're going to put them in series and parallel to make a bigger battery uh, for something that I'll reveal later on. So, the question is, will it work? We don't know. We're just going to throw it together and see if it does. Um, will the Roby charger handle the 9 amp hour capacity? Will it time out? Thinking that the battery has a fault on it? I don't know. Uh, I've asked a couple of questions to a couple of people on YouTube and we don't know. So, what we're going to do is take obviously the first set series with the second set. They're going to go back to back. Something like this. And uh, now I've done this, I've uh, realised that I've left one pack indoors. So, they're not going to go staggered, but they're going to go like that, kind of. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. And uh, I'm going to solder it into the original terminals and see if it holds up. I'll go and sort out some other bits first. Right, yes, I remember now. Um, yeah, this is the weak pack. This is 7,700 milliamps, tested at... Uh, discharge of 3 amps. We can't see that very well on there, but yeah, they go anywhere between the lowest of 7.7, .7, jump to 9.2, up to 9.6 amp hour. So this one's going to go on the end so I can get to it and change it later on. Um, this will all be coming apart anyway um, as I do the, the rest of the cells and find better cells for going in there. So we need to glue this together, we need to do it square and uh, I'm not going to waste too much time on it, I'm going to do it by eye. So, let's make sure my tabs are around the right way. We're going to go positive to negative. Just making sure that when I hold it up to the pack, it's going to be the right way around. So, I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue, not too much, and not on my numbers. Wow, I think that's set a little bit too fast for my liking. Certainly got it. Positive, negative, positive to go underneath. Ah, it's hot. Make sure that none of these tabs short out whilst I do this. And finally, all the positive. There we have it. <laughs> 18 volt. Um, 
7.7 amp hour battery as it stands. So the next thing to do is to remove all of the cells from, it doesn't even stand properly, but yeah, we'll come back to that. It's to strip all the cells out of this and uh, bridge across with the side of the tabbing wire. So now I have all of the uh, cells out of here, um, what I'm, I've just done is I've just uh, polished the uh, terminals so I know that it will take the solder, I'm going to use flux and, uh, and uh, I'm going to tin these in a second when the soldering iron warms up, but um, the whole idea of this is, as it stands, to drop that on top of there, sold all the contacts up, maybe we'll put the base back on the bottom. Although not likely with my soldering. Uh, there we go, like that. And uh, possibly, if it holds up well, we'll wrap this uh, uh, using some of the um, the vinyl flooring that I actually got out of a skip. And uh, I'm going to be using a um, an old tool that I no longer use to provide the uh, contacts. So whereas this is a good drill. I'm going to use the other tool, I'm going to drop it on top, and we're going to have either a uh, 18 to 12 um, buck converter to drop it down to 12 volts, or we're going to use uh, the 18 to 20 volts that this battery is going to handle to run a small notebook or um, laptop. Uh, so it can be charged on a Roby charger, hopefully. Um, I have the, my in-car one here. So I can either charge it in the van, or start the move, into the lead, or I can charge it on site, sneakily. Hmm. That's questionable. Um, and it's not going to be used for any heavy duty power tools, uh, maybe to run a lantern, or maybe as a power supply to run some of my he more heavy duty uh, LED lights, but whilst I'm on site, um, particularly um, some 10 watt LEDs that I've got that I haven't shown you, which seem to be able to take 18 volts there. Uh, I don't know how to drive them, that's my problem. So anyway, yeah, that's what we're going to do, we're going to connect this all up and uh, oh, I think it's charged at the moment, so we'll probably have to discharge it a little bit using a lantern. And then I'll put this video up uh, without putting the covering on and I want you to let me know how you feel about this uh, idea here, what you think and problems I'm going to encounter, uh, what you think is a bad idea, a good idea, anything, any feedback at all will help and um, I'll, um, I'll, I'll be able to improve or, or find a better use for these. But anyway, um, I'm going to sold this together, I'm going to speed it up for you and then I'm going to plug a lantern in into, into it and, uh, and prove it works. Plug it into the charger, make sure it picks it up and reads it as a, as a good rechargeable battery and then we will leave the video there. I think. Ready for the moment of truth now.
Right, there we go. And uh, finally, that's done. We we'll just make sure it registers the voltage on the meter. Volts. Positive. Negative. 20.3. That'll do. So, I'm just going to go to plug it into and make sure it works and uh, we'll be away. Right, so, this is the lantern. Warm white tube, that works. Could also use it on the radio without putting too much stress on it. Have a unlimited, well not unlimited, but a very long running radio. Old man who was shot in West Belfast has died in hospital. Edward Gibson was attacked in an alleyway. On oh, okay. Yeah. And finally, we have the item that we're going to be sacrificing. I have two of them and I don't use them. We're going to be using the uh, vacuum cleaner. Undo the screws. Cut it off here, put a plate on top, sorted. There should be plenty of space in there. So that goes on there, like that. Um, looks a little bit ugly, but I suppose it can be laid down on its side. And I suppose by the time it's finished, it's not going to look too sad, is it? So, let us know what you think. Let me know if it will go well or fail. I'm not going to put it on the charger now because I need to discharge it quite a bit before we can do a test. So I'm going to do another video in the week, record it uh, charging, see how long it takes to charge, how much power it uses from the mains, and um, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think. Obviously, I'm not really, the whole idea of doing this is not to use it on my large power tools like my SDS drill and all that, and the drills, because I don't think the cells can handle it. But let me know what you think about it, because... Uh, I'm really not quite sure on how I've done it. And um, we'll see how it goes. So thank you for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers that have come across from Julian's channel. Um, and I also want to say, sorry Stu, I haven't sent you anything, but I'm, I'm making a pile for you. And um, when I've filled one of them boxes full of uh, bits and pieces for you, I'll send it to you. Um, and it should be, mm, I'll send it next week. I'll make sure I'll send it next week. So anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.